Hello viewers and listeners at home. It's always an exciting moment to be with you. And today again, we'll be taking mathematics. I'll be teaching mathematics here. And my name is Adejero Cornelius. And this is Learn at Home. Um, today, most especially, we'll be um, looking at addition and subtraction of open sentence. And this topic we'll be looking at today, it's so interesting because it deals more on um, children below upper basic. I mean, children between primary one and three. So I guess you pay attention to it, and I guess it's going to be um, an exciting one. Now, when we talk about open sentence in mathematics, we are looking at a particular problem or certain problems that involve missing values where a number where a number is um, certain numbers are given or certain operations are performed and certain number or a number is missing so we'll be looking at open sentence today it's very simple it's something you're familiar with and i promise you it's going to be very easy in dealing with so we'll be looking at a, a number of problems and you will find that Num a particular number is missing and you have to look for the numbers. So let's move ahead to solving um, example one. But before we do that, I guess you're already familiar with addition of numbers. You can count from numbers from one to five. You, 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 when, when they say one plus one, you say two, two plus two, four. Uh, I believe all these basic operations of numbers or basic addition or much more um, um, subtraction of numbers are things you're already familiar with. But we'll be looking at a few example, um, a few examples for today. So we have example one. Now, what we have on the board is saying 1 plus an empty box is equal to 3. 1 plus an empty box is equal to 3. So we want to look at what is that empty box that is, what is in that empty box that makes this one, the, um, that is added to this one to make um, our answer 3. So we want to um, demonstrate this by using um, football, for instance, that if we have, if we represent this one with one football, if we have a football here, and we have uh, the answer to be three, why is it three? What happens to it? So that is what we'll be making inquiries about. We want to know what, how we came about this to have this as three. Now, you're already familiar with counting of numbers. That when we count numbers, we count one, we count two before three. So we'll be using um, football to um, do that basic operation now and see how that goes. So if we have one football here, This is one football, and I guess all of you, if not, or many of you, if not all, are familiar with um, football, whether male or female. Now, we have one football here, and when you count one, the next number is two. So we want to, we want to have two footballs here, and see what, whether we we'll have three footballs. So we have another football here, because we counted one, and then we counted two. So we draw another football, and then we have another one here. So let's, never mind that this one is bigger. Okay, let's have, let's not have a bigger football. Let them be of equal size, equal size. So we have another football here. So that doesn't confuse anyone, right? 
And then we have here from the answer we were given, we were told that we have our answer as three. So let's check. Let's put three football after the equal sign. We have the third football here. Right? Now, if we decide to have a dotted line, this is the one foot, this is one football we're given. This is one that we were given. And this is the three that we were given as answer. Now, if we consider these two football, you discover that by if you count these three to get these footballs together, it will give you one, two, three. If we count together. But this is the one we were given. We want to bring set aside the one football we were given. But what did we add to the one football? that makes it three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It means we added two. So it means the number we are looking at here is two. We added two footballs. So we can now have our empty box here. As what? As two. Meaning, what we have is 1 plus 2 equal 3. 1 plus 2 equal 3. So the number that is missing here in this open sentence is 2 from the answer we have here. Because 1 plus 2 equals 3. So we'll be taking another example that involves subtraction. We have just done for addition. Remember, the topic we are looking at is addition and subtraction, subtraction of open sentence. So we have done for addition. We want to do for subtraction. So number two. Here we'll be looking for a number such that when we remove that number from um, 5, it gives us 2. A number we can remove from 5 to get um, um, 2. Again, supposing we are using um, chalk. We are using chalk as to represent our item, whereas we have, we have, a number of chalk. Say, this is five chalks. We are looking at how many of these chalk can we remove to make our remainder or the remaining chalks two. So we want to find out how we can go about that to ensure that um, our five chalks is, re is reduced to two. We could use um, apple as um, our example, or we, we, we go on to use um, chalk. Now, let's find out how many chalks can we remove. Now, supposing we have 
we are using this to stand for chalk. We are using this symbol to represent chalks. Now, we have five pair of chalks. We have one, two, three, four, five. Now, something happens, and this chalk is reduced to two. Something happens, and this chalk is reduced to two. What is that number? So we want to find out. Now, our answer has been given as two. So all we need to do is to know that, OK, we have two. This is the remaining chalks, two. This two is the remaining um, chalks. So we want to find out if we have two chalk or two, if we have two remaining, what is that number that is missing that made it to be reduced to two? So we have set aside the two that is remaining after the equal sign. Now, we will now count the remaining chalk to see how many that was removed from five to get two. We will now count one, two, three. Good. It means we have three chalks that were removed from five to um, have the remainder as two. So we have three. So we can now say five chalks minus three. You can still draw our strokes as three here to represent the chalk and then what is remaining is two we have two remaining so our empty box now is equal to what is equal to three meaning the answer can be rewritten or the expression there can be rewritten as five minus Three inside the box, this three you have here, equal to two. Equal to two. So that is our final um, answer there. So now I will give you two questions as assignments. And I expect you to do it, submit through the appropriate quarter and um, appropriate channel, and make sure you do it yourself. It's very simple. So I'll wipe off this um, side. So the first, we have two questions on the board. The first question says, three plus empty box equal to four. For those that are listening, that are not watching the screen, we have three plus empty box equal to four. That's number one. Number two, four minus empty box equal to one. So you find this and make sure you, you submit. Thank you. Stay safe. God bless you.